Farm Hands, welcome back to the 420 Wolverine build. Hopefully you guys are all having a great day. So today we are gonna be jumping on to part four of the Wolverine build, and we are doing DIY lighting on this system. Um, we just got all the painting done, we did the sump, we did the back of the tank, it turned out pretty good. Thanks for everybody that checked out that video. So with DIY, A, you know, it's about saving some money, but like myself, I enjoy being creative and building things and see how it's gonna turn out. I could go, you know, a higher end, get some uh, other LEDs. Might still do that. I'm not sure how this is all going to turn out, but we're definitely going to try it. Before we even get started onto the next part, could you guys please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button? Just smash it because every time you hit the subscribe and likes, it makes the channel go crazy. Plus, it gives me more opportunities to do more builds and stuff for you guys and create content because that's what I love doing. It would be awesome. And you know, everyone that's been tuning into all our live shows, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated for the team. So I ended up picking up about four LEDs off of Amazon, the 300 watts, they're 6500K, so it's gonna be a nice, very bright light. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. So the way we're gonna DIY it, I have rail system that's going on the back of the Hulk. I'm gonna show you guys that going forward, show you the materials we're gonna use. And plus we're gonna do a, bit, a little bit of soldering together because we're gonna do extend these LED lighting because they're, you know, they're short and I wanna run them all off on one driver. This way, because I got the Hydros 4 controller that's right here, and that's gonna be running the system. So. Further ado, let's jump into the DIY lighting. Hopefully you guys are gonna learn something today. Make sure to leave all your comments below, hit the subscribe button, and hit that little freaking bell that's in the corner because a lot of people message me, we haven't been getting your videos. Well, it's because of that YouTube notification bell symbol messes it up for everybody and I don't know why they do it. But if you guys can go ahead and hit that like right now, just hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, that would be awesome. All right. so. Let's go ahead, let's jump into this, and then we were gonna go and get everything all mounted up. All right, so these are the rail systems right here. They have flat on one back, uh, I on here. I'm just gonna paint these up a bit, but these are what's gonna screw on the frame of the tank of the stand. So, it's really um, nice. so we're gonna move on to here. Now this is the bracket that's gonna be attaching to the LED. So I end up getting uh, four of these LEDs off of Amazon. You guys are probably thinking maybe I'm crazy, but I'd like to do some DIY again, and the price was right. Let me get one out for you. And they're very light and flat, but very powerful. It's almost like 300 watts of LED power. 225. <clears throat> so this is the top of the LED and this is the bottom. And look how paper thin that is. So this is what we have to do now. So I figured it out. I'm gonna keep my wire it's gonna go across the center here. We're gonna make a bracket that attaches here. And then this is the part that sticks over the tank. We're gonna put a bolt through a nut and it's gonna hold it. And then it's gonna sit over the tank just like that kind of thing. But it's very light, very powerful. Uh, these are the little drivers for it. I am gonna take all four of these apart and I'm gonna put them all into one driver. I think I have a big enough driver in the garage that I could do a control. So if I wanna put a dimming option on here for running from the, the Hydro's uh, control four, controller, I can do it and run them all off on the same one instead of having four plugins, but have just one uh, power supply driver for all of them. But these things are bright, like you guys can see, and it's just so thin and light in the price, man, I couldn't beat it. So, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make these up. I already did the other uh, three already, they're ready to go, but we're gonna do one together. So all we have to do now is we're gonna take out our LED, and some of the tools that we're gonna need, put this down so it doesn't damage the table, and doesn't scratch anything. So what we have to do is take our measuring tape. We've got to hit the, get the center here. So 15 millimeters is our center. And just like the other ones, it's 27 and a half. So that is where our spot's gonna be. So this right here is our center. This is the one of the bolts that we're gonna use and we're just gonna have it sticking through here. It's so light that this arm will keep it up. And what I like about it, this channel already has a mark in it. So when we do put this down, we'll have a washer and a nut and it'll just sit. So it's gonna look like a great big a fly swatter almost. And how we're gonna attach it is using JB, JB Weld, Marine JB Weld. They use this stuff for everything. You use it underwater, it works great. So we're gonna mix some of that up. Before we do this, cause it's so smooth, we're just gonna take this and we're gonna scratch it up so it has a little bit of something for the JB Weld to uh, latch into. So you can feel that it's more abrasive. So you'll make some good marks in there. 
like that. Then you just take some of your JB Weld, which is use this box. Um, this is the steel, they call it, and it's just a two pound system. And you mix it together, and then we're gonna put the hardener onto it. So this is the, the other uh, hardener, this is the hardener. And we're gonna mix that up. Just like that. We've got a plastic fork here. I'm just gonna mix that together until it's great. Scoop it up and put some on the end of the bolt. Put it right in the grooves. Done. And then we're going to put some right here in the middle of the X. This stuff holds like crazy. And then we're going to take this, make sure it's straight in the middle of the X, just like that. And we're going to let that dry overnight. We already got the other three, I went ahead and did them already. So we give enough for the base to keep this nice and strong. Because by the time this is hardened, hardened, and it tightens up against this rail, it's not going anywhere. And make sure you always test your LEDs when you get them in the mail to make sure they work, because it's worse if you do all this work and it doesn't work and you try sending it back after you've already uh, what fabricate them already. Well, there we go, there's one done. So after that's hardened, we're gonna put this rail on, a couple washers, nuts, tighten it up, and then this part is gonna go onto the other rail. So what we need to do is uh, go ahead and go and mount this rail onto the Wolverine, get that all done, and then tomorrow I can I can wire these uh, LEDs up over the tank. We're gonna let that uh, sit overnight, so make sure it has a really good contact and hardens up. So that's how easy this little DIY, just get yourself some uh, some JV weld, a bolt, these LEDs. I'll leave them in the description below, you guys can check it out. And I think it's gonna turn out awesome. So this was a really cheap, easy way, because what we're trying to do is just grow those plants. So why spend uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars on lighting if we don't have to? Because I, I, you know, I do reef tanks and that lighting is very expensive, but this plant and freshwater stuff, it's a different animal, but we're just trying to grow uh, plants, so. So let's go and mount this other system on Wolverine and then I can actually move my tank back into the wall and then we can get other things uh, into place, but we'll get back to this part. So that's how easy and simple it is, guys. So this is the other rail system that's gonna just go on the back of the tank. I got everything marked out. So all we're gonna need is a couple of self-tapping screws, a level and a drill. That's all we need. So I got my four screws, I got my level, got the drill and we just have to on the back here. Already did the other three already just to speed things up. So they just screw on the back. Just like that. So we're gonna get one started. So there we go, there's the four lighting uh, rails and they're solid like, and they look pretty straight going all the way down. So now I can move my tank up closer to it and it's all in the back. So just by four uh, screws on each one. So that looks awesome. So one more thing I gotta do is I gotta finish these bulkheads, get them tightened in before I move it up against the wall. All right, so everything we did with the JB Weld, everything is all fastened onto this LED. Like I was saying, it's 300 watts, 65K. 
pretty simple, pretty small, very, very light. So we did uh, added the JB Weld here. We roughed up the aluminum so it has something for the glue to set into. So it works out perfect. All right. So this is what I'm using. So like I said, you got this piece of the rail system. It's aluminum as well. And we are just going to put it through the groove, put one washer onto it and a nut. And we just tighten that right up until it's good and snug. I just got to get some tools and we're going to do that properly. But just show you, it's like a big fly swatter. It'll sit right over that tank and light it up and hopefully grow out those plants. So that's 65K, 300 watt. The max power is shooting out of a 75. So it's going to be awesome. And like I said, so we're going to take this and extend these power supplies, but I'm going to use a larger driver to run this system. Because if I have a bunch of these, it's a pain in the butt, but if I can run them all off one and run it off the hydros and hopefully get a 10, 10, to, 10 volt control system on there, I'm looking into it. And then I can dim the dim the tank when I want just to set the mood if I don't want it so bright in there while I'm checking out all the other tanks. So that's what we're going to do today. So like I said, this is some DIY. It turned out pretty good. But now what we're going to do is we're going to head into the into the fish room. Um, we're going to do a bunch of soldering, run the wires, get the electrical done, run all the electrical to the area where I'm going to be uh, building the control cabinet for the Hydros 4 controller to run this whole system. So it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited to get to that point. This is my favorite parts is doing the electrical and after we get that electrical done we're going to jump onto some of the diy plumbing get that in there and just keep moving forward guys so let's go ahead into the room let's get these all mounted up let's do some soldering and get these lights on and see what it looks like right. so we are in the main room so some of the tools we're going to need for here so we're like i said we're going to cut off this power supply driver for the leds so we're going to need to extend all the wiring so i got the wiring here this is 16 gauge it's a little bigger than what they you know they have on this uh, system already but who cares, better, bigger the better, right? Um, you're gonna need a soldering gun or a siren iron. Um, you're gonna need some solder, uh, stripping tools to strip the wire, um, some heat shrink. So when you do solder it, we tape it and then we're gonna heat shrink it to keep it safe and protected. It is low voltage coming out of the driver, so it won't hurt anybody, but we're gonna do it right just to make it look nice and tidy. Um, I have this octopus arm, so I use this when I build my drones and uh, soldering on the board so it's, we can hold the wire. Has a little fan that can blow the, the fumes out of your face. That's pretty much all we're going to need for this to get this started. Um, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to cut it, we're going to solder it together, and then we are going to place them all on the tank and turn them all on it and see what it looks like. So that's the plan, so let's get at it. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to end up cutting uh, the driver off of it. Keep enough, you want to keep enough on both sides so when you do strip it, there's lots to work with. If you cut it too short, you can't put it back on. So we're just going to strip these up. And we're going to strip the other side of the LED. Strip these. And then we're going to take our 16 gauge wire, strip it as well. I'm using my linesman, I could be using proper uh, stripping tools. So with any wiring here, you always have like positive and negative, right? If you've ever seen it like on a 120 volt side and you want to know which side is hot and which one's neutral, just look on the side of the wiring. You'll feel little, like little ripples on it. The little ripples means it's the neutral and the one that doesn't have the ripples on it is the hot. That's the power side. So you can always tell.
we are all heat shrinked right up and we're good. So let's go ahead, let's mount these up on the tank and see how they look. All right, so this is the greatest time when your battery dies on your mic. So I'm just gonna do a record over here for you guys. So we got everything all mounted up. It's level plumb, it's square. It's looking really good. So all we have to do now is plug them in. So we're gonna go ahead and plug them in right now and see how bright they are over the tank. And hopefully they work. So this is our first trial run here right now. It'll be coming on any minute. There we go. See how bright those look? This is looking awesome. That's 65K. Can't complain. So all we have to do now is just have to clean everything up and uh, just watch me sitting here explain it after the mic dies. Technology is not always your friend all the time. It can be a bit of a pain in the butt. So it's looking good. So now I just want to show you from underneath what they look like. They look pretty good. Everything's all level plumb and square. There's the tops and how they're all connected going down the wall. So now I just have to do a little bit of wire management and hide everything. And hopefully I can get this controlled by the Hydra Swift 4 using the, the dimming option. And this is where we're going to do the control box where all the wiring is going to be at the end of it. I think this will be a lot easier accessible and everything's looking good. So that is the install. So there we go. We got the lights all mounted up. They're looking good. I think we're going to be able to grow some plants. I'm definitely liking the dimensions of this tank. I can actually look over at like a lagoon and check out the fish or sit below and check out all the plants and the fish at the same time. So it's going to look pretty cool. Hope you guys, you know, you tune into our live streams there about freshwater. We're going to be doing a few more of those with the Reef Collective gang. So it's going pretty good. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys need any information or parts or anything, if you guys want to do the same, hit me up. More than happy to help. So I think next week we're going to tune in. We're going to get all the plumbing all done. And then we are going to move on to the control board, get all the electrical finished up on it so we can control everything from our phone onto this tank. Uh, we got the CJ pumps to install, the wave makers. We got to get the soil in there, do all the substrates, all the different kinds we're going to do, all the plants. So we got a little bit of a process going. I find there's a little bit more of this process going than doing a reef tank. Reef tank, put the sand in there, mix up your salt, put it in. But it's definitely a learning curve, and I really appreciate everybody that's leaving your comments. You know, definitely help with the advice and stuff. I really enjoy that. Thank you guys. And if you guys can smash that like button, it would be awesome. And if you guys can subscribe, it would be even better. So let's tune in uh, next week. Let's see uh, what else we do. We get in trouble here and uh, just have some fun. So please subscribe and hit that like button.